The Life of Gordon Willis. Directed by Samantha Walsh and Olivia Rizzo. Narrated by Samantha Walsh. Gordon Willis was born on May 28, 1931, in Astoria, New York. Willis has worked as a cinematographer since 1970. The first film Willis worked on was known as The Landlord when he was 39 years old. Willis's work was not recognized until 1972 when he worked on Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather. Willis continued to work with Coppola for the next two Godfather installments. The opening scene of The Godfather begins with a close-up. The man is dressed in dark clothing and the background is dark. Only his face is in the light and there's a slow dolly outward. The entire first scene is dimly lit, which foreshadows the criminal activities, dangerous people, and the events that will take place during the rest of the movie. Willis has been criticized often for leaving the eyes of many characters dark. He specifically did this with Vito to add mystery to the character. Willis did not want the viewer to know what he was thinking. Willis is famous for using contrast within his films. He had the ability to use shadow and contrast to create visual relativity. Some of these examples of contrast include the juxtaposition of Connie's wedding with Vito's office, as well as the juxtaposition of Apollonia and Michael's love scene with Sonny's shooting. Some of the scenes that are dimly lit include the meeting of Sonny, Vito, and Salazzo, when Michael kills Salazzo and McCluskey, and the meeting of the heads of the five families. This dim lighting helped give Willis the nickname the Prince of Darkness, one of Willis's favorite cinematic techniques was to film at the magic hour before twilight because the sun is low and it creates a nostalgic glow for the past. Willis has had an impressive career as he has also worked with director Woody Allen on many films. These include Annie Hall, Manhattan, and Stardust Memories. Willis has been nominated for eight awards and has won six, including an honorary award at the Academy Awards, a Lifetime Achievement Award at the American Society of Cinematographers, and a Boston Society of Film Critics Award for Best Cinematography. Willis believed that all aspects of cinematography were not only meant to make a film look nice, but also to help convey the meaning of it.